How are you today? Just going to the factory, straight down the road. It's Monday, last full week in the factory here in Uganda, heading back to the States next Monday. Trying to track down Roy. Uh, we were gonna put the logo on all the bags. Got a few interns. A couple of them, I think you saw, we brought them on board last week. Four of them right now. It's been interesting kind of talking to them, just hearing about their vision, what they want to do, why they're focusing on leather. And two of the guys I was talking to, both of them have a vision of having their own shop. But I feel like it's true with anyone who has an idea trying to start business and just hasn't really been out there in the business world. Everyone's looking for that one thing, that one connection, that capital, that relationship that really gets you going. And the truth is, is that that one thing doesn't exist. It's really like 50 things. There is no one thing. And those 50 things are after failing 200 times. Everyone talks about, you know, they need capital, but do you know the customer? Do you know the market? Do you know the competition? We're looking for those easy solutions. That's not against the interns. I think that's just true of anyone trying to do business. And so my advice for the interns, as my advice would be to anyone, understand why you do it. You gotta love the process. Because in everything that you wanna do, there are people who love it, people who grind like crazy, and they're gonna beat you if you don't love it. If you're just trying to find that shortcut to be successful, you're not gonna find it because those shortcuts don't exist. It's a grind, it's hard work, I wish there was a shortcut, believe me. I wish there were shortcuts. I'm recording this, okay, so okay. you better get it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's part of intern initiation. Is that your design, Karis? Yeah? A little while back, I showed an iron for leather. Ever seen an iron for leather? Well, there's something else you can also do with it. You can put a plate, compress down, and then it turns smooth leather into a design. That's how sometimes you can kind of fake leather a little bit. You basically press down with the plate to come out with the design print that you want. And rather that being the natural way the leather is, kind of fake it. They're doing that for the shoe leather because they want to have like a pebble leather look. Roy's still moving around. He said he had an issue he needed to take care of for a minute. That was like 45 minutes ago. So I came in here just to get some work done. Roy's had a lot going on. They missed out on a shoe order because they were late on the delivery for the prior order. They're trying to get a ton of leather out to one of the manufacturers in India. So he's got a lot going on. Wish he would just tell me he has a lot going on so I could go be in town working on things that I need to do. It is what it is. Making leather, everything we will do it for them completely. Finish. Only the rock is to make holes and design and punch and put the buckle so it will bring more light. Yeah, plus two five four. First, if not so, you call the Indian number. Zero seven five. No problem. You, you mean with them, the belts? So, no. Like... This is the real, fully handicraft material. Yeah. This is made by hand. Totally. Yeah, well, it's craft. Uh, it's made by hand with the, with the hands. From raw material up to finished product. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I understand. So, which I think locally it can do well. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you talked about giving him, you know, when we do belts, uh -huh. you know, for me to export to the US. Yeah. No. You were talking about no, what going, we are going to do. But then also in terms of like finishing the belts, mm -hmm. I don't want any design on the belts. No, no. no. Should be plain, only yeah. plain and stitched. It, it, okay, yeah. So I'm just making sure we're on the same page because yes. it sounded like no, exactly using kind of... his styles for, yeah, yeah. for my belts. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad we're on the same page as far as what you know the belts mm. I'm looking for for mm. you know the US. Mm. I thought we were gonna take care of the logo on the other side. It's the one thing I want to do today. Roy wanders off and gets on his phone. In previous trips, everything's been focused on doing stuff in the factory. There hasn't been any pressure on things I need to do kind of beyond that. I mean, yeah, I'm making these vlogs, 
putting content together, but the focus was always, we're still struggling just to make a simple product. Now I'm planning to go back with bags of sell, and so more and more I'm feeling that weight and pressure of, there's a lot of stuff I do outside of the factory. And so I think that's why today's like today, which I haven't really gotten anything done, and it's after four right now, that needs to start changing. So I need to better be a better steward of my time. Roy needs to understand I need to manage my time better, and he just needs to communicate things. So. <laughs> All of us went up to the other side, waiting for Roy. Oh wait, Roy's not coming. Still here. James, are you happy? Happy. With your logo? I'm very happy. Tell him, this is Lyle Group. <laughs> group, yeah. Thank you, Boss Lakshay. Yes. Thank you, Boss Lakshay. Can I have a thank you pound? Ah. Ah. Boom. Are you driving motorcycle? Yes. Yes? Are you a good driver? Yes. Are you better than George? Yes. <laughs> You're better than me? Yes. Okay, you, you ride me. Yeah. Not the most productive day, but I think at least tomorrow we can get the logo on all the bags. So I got the setting right. It's a little after five right now, heading back, gonna grab my stuff, gonna go for a run, gonna get something to eat, and that's it. It's been a Monday. Take it easy.